we find Joan Corir, a mother of one who is due for her second delivery early December, taking a rest at this maternal shelter in Londiani Hospital. She says she arrived early because of the distance between her home and the hospital and the fact that she has no one to take care of her in case of emergency labor. <laughs> toka mali nimekuja huko nyumbani mbali lakini si mbali sana na hapa ni hospitali yenye tunategemea sana eh nilikuja hapa juu akokuwa na mtu kama mtu wa karibu kama daktari na najua sikujifungua nyumbani si vizuri According to the nurse in charge, David Siele, the facility, which has an eight-bed capacity, has helped in the fight against mother-to-child HIV transmission. So these mothers come even when their time of delivery has not yet come. So we keep them in our maternal shelter until the time when they, they are ready for the delivery. This facility has helped us because in case the mothers who are HIV positive are de uh, delivered at home, then the care will not be efficient as we have here. So we manage them efficiently when they are here because we are able to know their status and also be able to, to do the interventions that are required for these mothers and their babies. According to a report by the Kenya Health Information System, alarm has been raised on 18 counties heavily burdened by the mother-to-child transmission between the year 2021 and 2022. They include Mombasa, Lamu, Taita Taveta, Kitui, Machakos, Kericho, Nyeri, Muranga, Transzoia, Wasingishu, Elgeyo Marakwet, Nandi, Baringo, Vihiga, Busia, Kisi, Nyamira and Nairobi. However, according to experts, most of these cases currently being experienced are due to relapses in caregiving, mostly by parents and guardians. Currently, we are testing over 60,000 mothers per, per year and many of them have been put on treatment so therefore they will be able to get children who are HIV negative. A rate of women who are positive giving birth to an HIV positive child, we, we are somehow doing well because we are about 10, 10 to 10 percent in this period. Though we desire, we desire to to come to about 5% or, or, or lower. A significant progress has been made by the county government to ensure that in our hospitals we are able to do proper testing, proper sensitization and counselling of these mothers to be able to bring down these rates. As a county government we are continuing to ensure that our mothers access proper antenatal care at our facilities to be able to bring down this rate significantly. Currently, the rate of mother-to-child transmission stands at 8.6% nationally and at 10% in Kericho County. A government efforts to eradicate all new HIV infections by year 2027 is still facing a myriad of challenges, one of them being mother-to-child transmission during birth. A challenge that here at the Lundiani Subcounty Hospital are fighting each day to eradicate. Rehab Kinuthia K24 TV at the Lundiani Subcounty Hospital in Kericho County.